myself Anupam Mishra. I am a teacher of Ram Krishna Vivekananda Vidya Mandir, and uh, we are going to study about the lesson number. Before uh, starting this topic, we we are going to study uh, different types of number. First, natural number. We all know that about natural numbers in the prior classes and in the seventh class we have already studied about the natural number. You will find that. All number that starts from one, one, two, three, and so on. These are known as the natural number. And uh, with the definition, we can write that the numbers which start from one are called. Natural number. Okay, here are some examples. N is equal to one, two, three, so on. After that, again we will study whole numbers. The number which starts from zero are called whole numbers. Number which starts from zero are called whole number. Example, you already have seen here zero, one, two, three, and so on. We will. Here, sorry. About what is the difference between natural number and whole number? We will find only zero. Zero is the common difference between the natural number and whole number. Here, we can also find that all the natural numbers are whole number, but all the whole numbers are not the natural number. What is the reason? Reason is only zero. Again, next topic is integer. Integer. About integer, all the natural numbers, including zero and negative of natural numbers, are called integer. All natural number, including zero and Negative of natural numbers are called integer. Here, some example: zero, one, two, three, four, five. You will find here from one, which all are belong to natural number. Here is zero and the minus one, minus two, minus three. Here is so. We will study this integer on the number line. Here is zero, one, two, three, four, five, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Here natural number. Here for it zero and here negative natural number. According to this analysis, all natural numbers, including zero and negative of natural numbers, are called integer. So here natural number, including zero and negative of natural number, negative natural number, are called integer. After this topic. We we are going to study about rational number. Okay. Now about rational number. Here is the definition that the number of the form p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero, known as rational number. 
First of all, here are some examples. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, minus 3 by 5 and uh, minus uh, 7 by 5. First of all, here we are seeing that 1, 2 is not in the form of a by cube. But we can write 1 by 1, 2 by 1, minus 3 by 5. Here all are belong to the rational number. Here it is written 7.5. It means that we can write also 75 by 10. All are rational number. And uh, here is some types about the rational number. There are two types. Positive rational number. And the negative rational number. The rational number, the its numerator and denominators have the both sign is known as positive rational number and the rational number which numerator and denominator have the opposite sign is known as the negative rational number. Here is example minus 3 by minus 5. Here its numerator and denominator have the same sign minus minus and the 4 by 5. Numerator and denominator have the same sign, which is the plus plus sign, and here negative decimal number minus 2 by 5. Here minus 2 is the sign of minus is the sign of 2 and the 5 is the positive sign, which means sign of numerator. Here and denominator, the sign of numerator and the numerator are different. Sign of numerator and different uh, denominator are different, it is belong to. Negative decimal number sign of numerator and denominator are same, which belong to positive decimal number. Here is an example. Here, the rational number we will find 2 by 5, 3 by 5, minus 3 by 5, minus 3 by 5, minus 3 by minus 5, minus 7 by minus 9. All are belong to the rational number and the negative minus 7 by 5, minus 2 by 5, minus 1 by 5. Here, we have noticed that. All the sign of numerator and denominator are equal, and here all the sign of numerator and denominator are the difference that belong to negative rational number and that belong to positive rational number. Now, our next topic is standard form. A standard form of rational number. Rational number same to be and uh, in a standard form if its numerator and denominator have the common factor it means the only one not other here 2 by 5 we can find that the common factor of 2 and 5 is only 1 if you find that the common factor of a numerator and a denominator more than 1 we can now say that it is a standard form we will only find one, not other. Here, 10 by 7, it is also a standard form. 20 by 10, it is not the standard form because if you find that the common factor of 10 and 20 is more than 1. Here we will find the common factor of 10 and 20, 1, 
5, 10. So we cannot say that the 20 by 10 is in the standard form. But 10 by 7 here, the common factor of 10 and 7 the only one. So we can say that 10 by 7 is in the standard form. Another is that if you find the HCF, if the HCF of numerator and denominator is only one, then we can say that it is in the form of a standard form. If if you find that the HCF of numerator and denominator are other than one, then we can we can't say that it is in the standard form. Our main point is that for finding a standard form, only the HCF and or HCF of numerator and denominator is only one. So, here are some examples of the standard form of rational number 3 by 5, 1 by 3, 21 by 5, these are. Okay? Now, here we are. Here are some homework. Here are some homework for you. First, define natural number, whole number, integers, and the rational number. So, you have to define this example. Okay, next question is that in fact, class you have already studied in 7th class, you have to solve find 10 rational number between 1 and 2. 10 rational number between 1 and 2. One and two. So, you have to change 1 and 2 with denominator and you can find 10 rational number. Okay, next question is that change into a standard form. Here are some questions. You have to first find HCF and if you find that then SCF of the numerator and denominator, then divide both of them, then differently you will change this question in a standard form. First of all, in each and every question we have some given. First you have to find SCF, then you will find the SCF of numerator and denominator, then divide, divide uh, with the denominator and numerator. Okay, definitely you will change this all the questions okay, in standard form. Here, 21 by 50, first you will find SCF. Then, here, the yeah, SCF is 3, ok? Now, divide 21 and 15 by HCF, which means 3. You will find 7 by 5. So, 7 by 5 is in, in the standard form of 21 by 15. So, by this example, and you can solve these are remaining questions for you. Okay. Now, in the next class, we will study about the next point. The next point is that we will study about the equivalent fraction. Okay. And the and the number line. Next class we will study. Okay.